Safina was created to ensure there is a social fabric and identity of us as a people of Kenya that coupled with individual rights, civic rights, and uh, uh, civil liberties. The second tenet was political rights and freedom. And the final is economic rights and freedom. So today, I think what we are left with, or where these countries are at a crossroads, is the economic liberation. Every Kenyan should live in dignity and free from want. And that is what gives me singular pleasure in welcoming Jimmy Wanjigi here to the Safina Ford, because that is a vision he shares here. In 2017, if you remember when we got together as NASA, we talked about canon. And the canon that we envisaged for Kenyans was a canon away from what we termed as the oppression and backward policies of the Jubilee government. I think we have waited four years. And even Jimmy Wanjigi, who has been one of the biggest supporters of ODM and even of my party leader, unaona vile nimekua oppressed out at Kasarani. Mumeona hiyo? And as you can see with Paul here, he has said me an ataka kiti. He knows his work in the front for the second liberation was done. Now he can be wisdom. He can be the man we go to to ask him Habat Mulipita Namnagani. Article 43 is very clear on the social economic rights due to all of us as Kenyans. Water, sanitation, housing, education, medical, the right to a dignified life as a Kenyan. It is there. But people have done something different in implementation. Mine is what you call in Kikuyu, an Itweka movement, an Itweka time. Itweka, for those who don't know that word, was when one generation, the younger one, overthrew the older one because life had become untenable. That's why I came up with the slogan, Fagia what? Fagia what? Kabisa, tuwe safi. Tuomoke pamoja. This is the time to say, Waende, waende. Are you not tired? Kuona watu. They, they move us in a direction. Sasa wanaenda kukati deals in Sijui which offices na master houses here. I want to talk to the, my fellow young people in this country. I know you've lost hope. I know you have not seen directions. But I want to guarantee you that where there is a will, there is a way. And we need a liberator of nothing else but what the party leader has said, the social economic liberation. He is a fearless person. And I love fearless people. I am equally fearless. Amen. And Kenya requires fearless people. Young or small, old, women or men, please have the courage to step forward and save your country, Kenya.